So in this one, we're going to be talking about the update API view as well as the destroy API view. And in this case, it's going to be update view as well as delete view. So those are interchangeable for sure. Um, and it's really not a whole lot different than what we've already done. So if you look in our views, we're going to go ahead and copy our detail view, paste it right underneath it. And we're going to call this post update API view. And then we're going to post right underneath that. And we're going to call it post destroy or delete. I'm going to stick with delete because that's what we've been calling it. But the actual um, Django REST framework is going to be calling it update and destroy. So we're going to go ahead and import these. Now that we have a few imports, I'm going to turn it into a tuple. So it's an import statement is just a little bit more robust and cleaner. So the update view and then finally the destroy view. All right, so the delete view. Again, I'm calling it delete view only because that's what we've been calling our view otherwise. If we, if we didn't have a name for our view, we would just stick with the convention that the Django REST framework uses. All right, so post update view, and that's true for the detail view as well. But again, we are coming off of post create, post detail, um, post list, and, all, and so on. Anyways, so now that we've got these, let's go ahead and bring these into our URLs. And we want destroy as well as update. So update at the bottom and then destroy, excuse me, delete. Okay, very simple, just like what we've seen before. I'm gonna uncomment these out. Edit will be the update view. And let's actually make sure that we called it update in the other view instead of edit. So if we go into views, we see it says post update. Okay, good. If this was called post edit, I would also call this view post edit um, just to be consistent throughout my entire project. All right, so we've got the update view and then finally the delete view as view and name equals to delete. Cool, so now we've got the a few different things there. So let's go ahead and take a look. If I just type out edit here, um, notice it says get method is not allowed. But I can change things here. So um, the original one says the title is yeah, buddy, and so on and so forth. And if I said ABC, ABC one, two, three, four, and some more content. And we change the date a little bit. Let's say um, a proper date, actually. That's not a real date. Let's just select a date. There we go. And let's get rid of that three up front to 18. Put, so it did change it. Notice the ID is three. It is not um, a new one, right? So I just updated it. So if we go into post detail, or excuse me, post list, what we see here is the most recent one is now ABC. It's no longer Yeah Buddy. Um, so that's working correctly. And then if we go back into Yeah Buddy and refresh, it says a detail not found. And that's because that slug is no longer there. It is now ABC1234. So we'll go into that, ABC1234. And then if I want to delete it, I just type out delete, hit enter, and now it should be deleted. We go back into the list, and it's not letting us delete here uh, because actually we have to use the delete method. So we click delete here. Are we sure we want to delete? Yes. Go back to the list, and now it's deleted. Um, so it's just another, um, another actual step that we have to do because the method has to be delete. It can't just be get. And that's why when we saw um, this option, if I went in here and did delete, this is a get method because the URL request is a get method, right? So it says detail get method not allowed. And then I have to actually do delete to do something. If I click on options, I see the various things that I have to, to have to work with as far as you know, you use JSON data or URL uh, form a form data essentially to do that. Um, cool, so that is update view as well as de delete view. And again, these have to do with the methods. So in CRUD, we have the delete method and then the update method was put or patch. So the next one we'll actually just create it, which is not gonna be a whole lot different than update, but it's not actually editing the instance. Um, but actually before we do the update part or the create part, I wanna actually show you how to update it in the shell. If you have any questions on what we did here, let us know in the comments below. Otherwise, let's keep going.